Hello, it's Miss Allison who's going to be reading today a book called Muncha, Muncha, Muncha. Now you may have remembered me from Snap Ed and we usually talk about nutrition and healthy eating. Well, this book also talks about food, but in a fun way. This is a story about a farmer and some creatures in his garden. The book is called Muncha, Muncha, Muncha by Candace Fleming and the pictures are by G. Brian Paris. Muncha, Muncha, Muncha. For years, Mr. McGreely dreamed of planting a garden. He dreamed of getting his hands dirty, of growing yummy vegetables, and of gobbling them all up. But he never once tried it until this spring, said Mr. McGreely. This spring, by golly, I'm going to plant a garden. So he hoed and he sowed, that means he put seeds in the ground, and he watched his garden grow. Lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes, yum, yum, yummy, said Mr. McGreely. I'll soon fill my tummy with crisp, fresh veggies. But one night, when the sun went down and the moon came up, three hungry bunnies appeared. Tippy, tippy, pat. Muncha, muncha, muncha. What are they doing? The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his gnawed sprouts, that means something chewed them, he was angry. So he built a small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. There, he declared, no bunny can get into my garden now. Ooh, look who's up here on the wall. They're noticing. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat. Spring hurdle, dash, dash, dash. Muncha, muncha, muncha. So you think that fence stopped them? Mm. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his nibbled leaves and gnawed sprouts, he was really angry. So he built a tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Hmm, he huffed. Those flop ears will never get over it. Nobody can get into my garden now. That's a big wall. And the sun went down as he was dreaming about carrots. And the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat. Dig scrabble, scratch, scratch, scratch. Spring hurdle, dash, dash, dash. Muncha, muncha, muncha. The next morning, when Mr. Greeley saw his chewed stems, his nibbled leaves, and his gnawed sprouts, he was really, really angry. Can you see how angry he is? So he made a deep, wet trench outside the tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Ha, he snorted. Those puff tails can't get under it. They can't get over it. Nobody can get into my garden now. It's almost like a moat. Look, there's the garden hose filling it with water. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat. Dive paddle, splash, splash, splash. Dig scrabble, scratch, scratch, scratch. Spring hurdle, dash, dash, dash. Muncha, muncha, muncha. Look what this bunny is using as a way to get in. There's that hose. They're pretty clever. The next morning when Mr. McGreely saw his chomped blossoms, his chewed stems, his nibbled leaves, and his gnawed sprouts, he was furious. Uh-oh. So, he hammered and blocked, sawed and stalked, drilled and filled, and trapped and locked, and he built a huge, enormous thing before the deep wet trench outside the tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Ah, I've outsmarted those twitch whiskers for sure, he exclaimed. They can't get through it, they can't get under it, and they can't get over it. No bunny, no way, no how can get into my vegetable garden now. 
and the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 stop. The three hungry bunnies looked and smelled and touched the huge, enormous thing before them and tippy, 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 pat, the bunnies hopped away. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his untouched vegetables, he was happy. I beat the bunnies, he hooped and did a jiggly wiggly victory dance. Then he climbed over, jumped across, squeezed between, and crawled under until he reached his vegetable garden. Ah, sighed Mr. McGreely at last. Smacking his lips, he picked and pulled up lettuce carrots, peas, tomatoes, and with his basket overflowing, he reached inside for something yummy. What's gonna happen? <gasps> what was in his basket? Muncha, muncha, muncha. Oh my goodness. Oh. And this last page doesn't have any words, but you can see what happens next. There's Mr. McGreely and the three bunnies having a snack of carrots together. Muncha, muncha, muncha. The end.